A disk is in pure translation with a constant velocity. Holding a disk at the edge and dragging it across the floor results in this kind of motion. All points on the disk have same velocity. These velocity vectors are indicated by the yellow arrows. Same point of the disk is in contact with the floor at all times. This time the disk is in pure rotation in a clockwise sense with a constant angular speed omega. Different points in the rim of the disk have equal speeds equal to r omega. Direction of velocity of a given point changes with position. The bottom most point has a velocity to the left and the top most point has a velocity to the right. These velocity vectors are indicated by red arrows. Different points in the rim come into contact with the same point on the floor. Now the disk is in combined translation and rotation. Its linear speed v and angular speed omega are related as v equals r omega. The point of contact of the disk with the surface has zero velocity as the linear velocity v due to translation and velocity due to rotation r omega are directed oppositely here. Notice the change in the length of the green arrow which represents the sum of the yellow and red arrows. This is rolling without slipping. Different points on the curved edge of the disk come into contact with the different points on the floor. White curve represents the path followed by a point on the rim of the disk. This path is known as a cycloid. Linear speed v is less than r omega. The yellow arrow representing v is shorter than the red arrow representing r omega. The point of contact of the disk with the surface has a non-zero velocity directed leftward. Notice again the green vector's direction at the moment of contact with the floor. The disk is now slipping with greater rotation and lesser translation. The linear speed v is now greater than r omega. The point of contact of the disk with the surface has a velocity directed rightward. Green vector's direction at the moment of contact with the floor is rightward and the disk is now slipping with greater translation and lesser rotation.